Okay, so today's video is all about five ways you can use Photo Mechanic 6 to save you time in your calling and in your images. So I just went ahead and pulled some images here from my desktop so that it would be a good example of what you can do here inside of Photo Mechanic. And I wanna give you some tips for how you can call through your images. So as you can imagine, after a shoot, you may have hundreds or thousands of images here. And I think one of the best things you can do is go ahead and start opening up your images by hitting the space key. So once you hit that space bar, you're gonna see the images much more like in a huge format. And so that I can see zoomed in, whether or not things are in focus, whether or not things are um, what I want. The other thing you can do over here on the right is zoom in even further. And that's the beauty of photo mechanic is that you can see without load times like the load time inside of Lightroom is just so much slower than Photo Mechanic because you're able to look immediately at raw files the way that Photo Mechanic does. So that's why I feel like it saves me so much more time. Now, what I like to do is a positive culling system, which means let's say I want to keep this image. I'm going to hit the T key on the keyboard and it gives a little tiny check mark right here so that I know this is a selection. So let's say I also want this image this image, but maybe not this one, but definitely this one. Okay. Now we go back to our thumbnail perspective and you can see where the selections have been made and you can see that these all have a little check mark. Another thing that you can do is you can um, give them a color rating. So let's just say you want fuchsia to be your album color. Um, so images that you definitely would want to bring into an album or you can do a star rating. So let's say you want this to have one star, one star, and one star. Now you can also sort by only seeing what has a one star rating. You can sort by only seeing what has, you know, your fuchsia rating. And this is all gonna get taken into Lightroom when you come into Lightroom to edit. So um, that's super helpful, especially if you have a system for maybe you star the images that are gonna go in a blog post. So that's really, really helpful. Um, another quick tip I wanted to share with you is you can easily add or change metadata by hitting the I key on your keyboard. So if you hit the I key, you're going to see all of this information that you can actually change and leave inside the photograph. So you can put this across many photographs or you can change just one of them. Um, and all of this is going to also carry along with the image file and go into Lightroom. So it's really amazing. You can go in here and change your keywords, um, you know, the date it was taken. If you want a little bit more information about the copyright, this is a place where you can change it. Um, and then I also want to point out this little lightning key here. This is going to be the way that you change your snapshots and snapshots, as far as I can see, is basically like a template of the metadata that you just changed. So um, once you save this as like, maybe this is like your standard company, like uh, copyright. Okay. This one you'd save, and then maybe you have a different one for senior photography or commercial photography, and then your saved snapshots would go here under snapshots. So that's super helpful for being able to go in here, change your metadata really, really quickly. Um, over here on the right, you can go ahead and hit the Z key, or you can just hit this little checkbox and you can check your focus. Um, and I just love that I'm able to zoom in really, really fast and really close without any lag time and see and make sure that this image is locked in. The focus is really good before I go ahead and pull it into edit into my editing software. Okay. So once you're happy with your images, you can actually also add watermarks upon export. Um, so you can apply this when you're exporting your images and you can go ahead and um, customize different watermarks as well. So if you go here to your export, this is where you have all the different options and you'll see again, you have your option to come in here and manage a saved snapshot of what you've done. So if you do the same thing every single time, you can save it as a template. And that's what Photo Mechanic calls their snapshots. So in order to watermark all of your photos, you just go to save as, and then you'll see here to check off the watermark. If you go in here, you can actually change the actual watermark, figuring out where you want it to look, 
um, where you want it to appear on the image, how big you want it to be on your image and so on and so forth. So if you do want to mass watermark your images or mass rename your images, change the metadata, um, rate and review your images with colors and stars, this is going to be probably your fastest way of doing it. Um, of course, there are other ways to do it inside of Lightroom and in other external tools, but it is nice that you can do this all in one place. So one final tip that I have for you is to keep your Lightroom catalogs as you decide what images you're going to bring into Lightroom, keep those as lean as possible. So they're gonna run faster if you don't bring in 5,000 images and then have Lightroom process through those 5,000 images and then you only use, let's say, 1,500 of them. Rather, I think it's better to go through something like Photo Mechanic, grab just the 1,500 that you do want, grab all those images, and then bring those images into Lightroom. You're just gonna experience way faster load speeds inside of Lightroom itself. All right, so I hope that these tips for Photo Mechanic 6 have helped you to see just a couple of the many, many features that it has to save you time as you're calling through your photographs. If you have any questions, please go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a like, thumbs up, and consider subscribing to this channel. I help photographers like you step into the role of photo boss, get paid, and attract better clients into their photography businesses. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next week. Bye, guys.